We expect some sparks to fly on Capitol Hill today as top executives from the five biggest oil companies face members of the Senate Finance Committee. They'll be asking about soaring gas prices and soaring profits and tax breaks. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill this morning with more. Nancy, good morning to you. What exactly are senators uh, expecting to hear this morning from those oil executives? Well, Erica, Democrats want to know whether they really need those $2 billion worth of tax breaks that they get every year. And they're proposing legislation that would strip away those subsidies and put that money towards the deficit. Here's their rationale. We're here to say enough already to big oil. You're doing just fine on your own, and you don't need the taxpayer giving you an extra handout to help. Now, the oil company CEOs are likely to say, to say today, look, we're not the ones who are driving up the price of gasoline. It's investors who are looking for somewhere that they can get a return on their money, and so they're putting it in oil. So don't punish us, especially when all of industry gets this money in tax breaks for research and development, Erica. Looking at all of this, Nancy, what are the chances that Democrats really could pass legislation that would strip away these subsidies? Well, right now, Erica, you've got Republicans in the Senate saying, look, this is a, amounts to a tax hike, and we're not interested in hiking taxes on anyone right now. Besides, it wouldn't do anything to bring down the price of gasoline. And you've got some Democrats from oil-producing states who agree with them. So I think pushing legislation like this that targets just one industry and isn't part of a larger tax reform package is doable, but it's difficult. Difficult indeed. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill this morning. Nancy, thanks.